Welcome back to my Road to Completion Guide for Final Fantasy X. This is episode 12. Follow me to find Yuna to trigger the next sequence. This action unlocks a trophy called Heartstring. Save your progress before moving into the next area. Steal four fire gems and build up Riku's overdrive before saving at the next Traveler Sphere. We'll get through this.
Buy and equip the Seeker's Armlet for Kamari. Follow me to the trainer and tell him that we want to train a chocobo. We have to complete all four chocobo training events to get some items and unlock a few trophies. My will is strong. We have to cross the finish line between the chocobo and the trainer in under 12.8 seconds. The chocobo will move sporadically so we have to course correct by pressing left and right on the d-pad. Be aware there is a steep learning curve for all the training courses because the controls are terrible. You can replay courses until you're successful. Complete the training course for an elixir. Dodger Chocobo has a time limit of 16.8 seconds. We now have full control of the Chocobo, but we need to dodge blitz balls using the D-pad. This training course is extremely cheap because the blitz balls will curve and hit you even if it looks like you're moving out of their path. I find that tapping the D-pad and moving in smooth diagonal paths gives us the best chance of making forward progress while dodging most of the blitz balls. If you get hit more than two times, you're probably going to fail the course, so keep that in mind. 
Our reward is a level 1 key sphere. Hyper Dodger Chocobo has a time limit of 18.5 seconds. We still have full control of the Chocobo, but we'll need to dodge Blitz Balls and Birds this time around. The Blitz Balls also split up, which makes them very tricky to dodge. You will automatically dodge the first Blitz Ball by running straight, but you need to be quick to avoid the bird that follows. The best play is to move back and forth in a diagonal pattern. If you get hit more than three times, you're probably going to fail the course, so keep that in mind. Our reward is a level two key sphere. Catcher Chocobo has a time limit of 45 seconds. We still have full control of the Chocobo, but we need to dodge birds and collect balloons. We also have to complete the course with zero seconds on the clock, which is extremely difficult due to the controls and weird camera angles. Each balloon we grab shaves three seconds off our time and each bird we hit adds three seconds. If we take 45 seconds and divide that by three, we get 15. So the worst case scenario is we have to collect 15 balloons without getting hit and finish the race in 45 seconds. I will demonstrate this scenario with my gameplay, but my completion time was roughly 33 seconds. If we divide 33 by three, we get 11. So technically I could have reduced my time to zero seconds with 11 balloons and no hits. Obviously if a bird hit me, I would have collected an extra balloon to offset the penalty. My biggest tip is to keep your movement tight by lightly tapping the D-pad, otherwise you'll find yourself running past balloons. Make last second wide turns to avoid birds. This course can be broken down into three phases. Phase one is before the first turn, phase two is before the second turn, and phase three is the final stretch. During phase one, try to collect three to four balloons. Phase two, five to six balloons, and phase three, four to five balloons. The only rewards we care about for this training course is the level three key sphere and the sun sigil. You may receive other items like turbo ethers, but those are not necessary to complete the guide. Also expect to unlock two trophies, one for completing all four training courses and the other for getting a time of zero seconds. One more thing, you can skip this course and do it later in the guide, but I would highly encourage you to complete it now. There's no sense in you spending more time following the guide just to double back and have this sequence kill your run. I'll leave the choice up to you. Quit training after you have both trophies. Tell the trainer you want to ride a chocobo so we can move through the calm lands without enemy encounters. Grab the primer on the left and follow me to the nearby temple.
Press X anytime you see a chocobo feather to jump to a different platform. Check out the sphere on the ground, grab the primer and set up a save. We have to win four chocobo races to get several items and a trophy. The first race is simple because all you have to do is make it to the finish line before the other chocobo to get the cloudy mirror. The second race is trickier because we have to open three chests without touching the poles spread around the course. If we can do this and beat the other chocobo to the finish line, we get 30 wings of discovery. Remember to press the X button to open the chest and follow the same order that I show in the video. This part of the game will take practice. The third race is tough because we have to open four chests without touching any poles. If we can do this and beat the other chocobo to the finish line, we get 30 pendulums.
The fourth and final race is the toughest because we have to open five chests without touching any poles. If we manage to beat the other chocobo to the finish line, we get 63 stars and a trophy called Chocobo Master. Jump off the cliff and follow me to the monster arena. Agree to take the man up on his offer, then sell all non-equipped weapons and armor. the following weapons, two taming swords, one catcher, one iron grip. Follow me to the next Traveler Sphere so we can lock in a save. Be sure to change the party formation to Bieber, Yuna, and Waka.
Have Bieber weapon swapped to the Sonic Steel. Now have him bring in Riku. Riku needs to mix two wings of discovery together to unleash trio of nines. Now we can finish the fight by having Riku, Yuna, or Waka use two fire gems. It doesn't matter if characters die during the fight. Trigger the dialogue sequence by running toward the path on the right. This isn't the way in? Change the party formation to Bieber, Yuna, and Riku. Open the main menu and scroll down to customize so we can enhance Kamari Seeker's armlet. When you find the armlet, press X and locate Master Thief. Press X again and select yes to add Master Thief to the Seeker's armlet using 30 pendulums. If done correctly, the Seeker's armlet will transform into the Collector's armlet. Set up a save and I'll see you in episode 13. Be good.